All right, so I've been reading up on this topic about workspaces and how you use them. Uh, written by Taylor James here, and he asked six questions. So I'm going to reply with the video instead of typing it out. That was to be too long. So question one and two is like the same. How many virtual uh, desktop and um, what layout are they in? Well, I'm using uh, four, and they're in a two by two layout here. So like this. I like it like this because it's the shortest distance uh, between them. Uh, so that's that and uh, question three how do you navigate between them both without windows and bringing them along um, well I don't like to use the keyboard but you know that's the universal way you can do that like this uh, pretty common for people I think that's less efficient because you, usually people use two hands and then they go back to their mouse you know lift up their hands and then go back to their mouse a waste of time all right so the, the the common way is uh, you can always use the the wheel like that like most people but then you get into like this thing and it's full screen so how do you get out of this you can't do the wheel and like I said I don't like using the keyboard so another way is to do the button binding and I bind this with a middle button okay to an edge corner and um, this is next over here previous and then uh, not to be confused with the right and then left and then down and top right uh, so if I don't like that I can use another thing and this one is easy stroke and it's mouse gestures okay so if I go boop it goes there boop goes back let me turn this on so you can see this but uh, so if I go that way that way uh, down left if I want to go to directly to a uh, you know workspace like one two three if I want to go to one I just go boop I can go directly to it right so this is one three uh, so that's another way to do it and as far as bringing them along um, well you can use scaling you know and switch between them um, and that's how you would uh, you know do this here so if you scale you can always do that and just leave the windows open Another common way is, uh, you know, people use the expo and then they move it, you know, like that. Uh, and then, like, you have, uh, what is it, the flip uh, wall or something? You can drag it like that, drag it, drag it, drag it. Pretty common, too. And lastly is the keyboard. Like I said, I don't like using the keyboard, but you can do that, too. You can bring this one along. So that's a few ways you can do it right there. All right, so that's that. And what else is here? Uh, question four: In what ways do you use them? Uh, assign tasks per workspace and uh, auto open. Yeah, I, I have it uh, like this. Okay, this is my web browsing, and this is my media like uh, music and videos. This is my social stuff like Twitter and uh, I am. This is games and work. So that's how I have it. And certain windows open in uh, you know certain desktop uh, spaces. So you see how my games here, if I close this and I go to a different uh, space, let's say this one, and I open the Mahjong game here, it will always open into, uh, you know, desktop 4. Uh, and that's the comp is, uh, was it the place w windows? So it's a fixed thing there. Uh, so that's how I have it. And what else is here? Question 5, what other tricks, tips, or... I would recommend using uh, easy strokes and for my viewers I haven't like show you an advanced way to use it but uh, I'll show you that another time and another thing I like to uh, for people to use is um, what is it the grid feature but they don't have like uh, you know binding to a button in a, a high corner which you can do uh, like this if you want to bind it so that, I thought this was pretty uh, useful I wish uh, people would know how to do this so I bind it to a different, uh, you know, uh, high corner, and I'm using my right button, not to be confused with the other ones, okay? Because uh, you have three buttons on your mouse, and you can use it to bind different things uh, to a certain uh, high corner. So people should use the grid feature, dig that if you want to, like you know, towel. And what else is there? Another hacks? Oh yeah, another one is. Um, so let me show you. Uh, let's say you have, uh, let's say this, these two, and uh, you can use the compass. Uh, what was that? Group windows. 
and I don't really like using the hotkey like I said because I think it's slow but uh, if you're using mouse gestures you can do that and boom boop boop and then you have um, you know this is how you uh, save space also if you like uh, you can do as many windows you want and you can just flip it like that so that's another one that people should check out but uh, let's go on to the next thing what is this here uh, are there any hacks or virtual? No, I already did that one. Okay, question six. Uh, what would you like to see in a, in workspaces uh, or other features? Uh, I thought the gnome shells was pretty interesting, but um, you know the the main one was like you can add a different workspace as you go. I kind of dig that because sometimes I need more than four, and uh, I don't like to go into compiz and then uh, you know edit that out and then add another workspace um, that's too much work so the no shells is pretty interesting but I, I don't know how that will come out another thing they have in uh, KDE is this thing called activities where you can have um, you know different widgets different wallpapers different icons for um, the activity that you have so I thought that was interesting um, they don't have a gnome but uh, if they did I would probably want to use that and as far as some other features um, I wish there's a way to uh, lock uh, a workspace. So let's say you have two or more people in your family and they use the same computer. Some people like to use, you know, multiple uh, workspaces. And uh, you know, for like my mom or something, she she can't use, she doesn't know the idea of how to use uh, virtual workspaces, and she gets confused. So I wish there was a way to lock just one. And that would probably be, you know. The best way for that would probably be gnome shells. If you can, you know, you can add it and minus it. But as far as comp is, you, there's no like dynamic way to do that. Uh, so they wish they have that. Another thing is that maybe you have like a guest over, and uh, they want to use your computer. Maybe there's a way to like uh, close all your open applications and uh, and uh, you know uh, in a session. And then, like um, when they're gone, you can actually open up again. So that that was good for like maybe privacy or something like that, while you still let your guests uh, do what they want. Uh, other than that, I, I don't know what else uh, is there for virtual desktops. But that's it. Interesting question. And um, oh yeah, for my viewers, if you um, you know have a better way than my way. <laughs> post a video I, I don't like text I don't I'm not gonna read most of it anyways but if you you want to post a video uh, great okay so that is it for this one